Well, it is certainly going to be a beautiful afternoon, but we have a little cloud cover and even on the radar right now, a little bit of light moisture. It may be a little bit of light rain for some folks out there, kind of scattered through Burnett County and out to Blanco County, Johnson City area. You folks out Hayes County, uh, Wimberley, Dripping Springs, you may see a few sprinkles. And of course, then if you live out by the lake, you've got a few sprinkles headed your way. Western Travis County, Liberty Hill, Neander Cedar Park, and then uh, possibly Georgetown, uh, all the way down to Round Rock and Pflugerville with a, maybe a few sprinkles. Just watch for that. If you're not going to be leaving for the next 30, 40 minutes, maybe that is in your area by the time uh, that uh, by that arrives, you might have uh, something on the windshield. It's not a lot. In fact, I've been watching our weather webcam out there in Marble Falls. I don't see any evidence of it yet. Either way, a little caution, you'll do just fine. 41 degrees, cloud cover winds out of the northwest at 8 miles per hour. Humidity, 62%. It is going to be a beautiful afternoon, and temperatures are likely to be a little on the chilly side. 50s, upper 50s for this afternoon. We start off with upper 30s to low 40s right now. Not going to see the temperatures fall much more. A little cloud cover holding steady as we see the skies clear this afternoon. The cold air has been moving in. I think uh, cold air is going to win this time around, so we'll put the high at 57. Then once the skies, uh, once the sun sets, the skies are clear, it looks like the temperatures will fall into about 30 degrees locally, which means 20s in surrounding areas. Call that a freeze. I wouldn't to classify it typically as a hard freeze, but still a freeze area-wide. And then possibly another freeze after that the following couple of mornings. I'll tell you the details on that in a little bit. We've got a little moisture, a little trough moving across. There were some concerns, maybe a few flurries way to the north. Not here. Maybe a little bit of light rain here. You can see how the, forecast, the uh, radar data has, is getting manipulated by the algorithms that uh, put together what is frozen and what is not. And as it moves through, it is just a, a light mist, a light rain, if anything. And it passes through. And then after that, we see sunshine and well things are going to be pretty quiet here's the way our forecast model plays it out noon today cloud cover still present kind of scattered very light though if anything very light rain moves out of here we have a clear sky overnight and into tomorrow morning. You've got a good possibility for temperatures to drop down to about 30 degrees and then maybe the upper 20s for everybody surrounding areas. The next couple of days, maybe not as cold, but still cold enough. If you have plants and you brought them in or you're worried about pets and are making special preparations, still going to be pretty cold the next several mornings. And then into the weekend, things will warm up just a little bit. All right, forecast over the next several days obviously looks for clear skies. So we'll have the clouds and the sprinkler too this morning. And then this afternoon, 57 degrees, winds out of the north at 10 to 15. There already is a breeze out there that's fairly steady. Tonight, 30, clear. And then over the next seven days, I mentioned those cold mornings. There's 30 tomorrow morning, 34 on Thursday. Highs in the 60s, so the afternoons aren't bad. Friday still looks good, but then Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, well, believe it or not, a rain chance. We certainly uh, we could use a little more rain. Looks like we will get a little more rain.